Welcome, foolish mortals, to the spooky month. It is I, Penty the Pentacle, and in today's video, I'm going to cover I.I. once again and list what I think are the five darkest moments in inanimate insanity. <laughs> Number five. You remember how great the past was? That's why you're my favorite. Yes, I'm breaking one of my rules already and including an entire episode. Why? Well, this episode was just one big dark moment. This is the creepiest episode of season three. It all just boils down to Springy. Not only is he glitchy and eerie with his clown-like mannerisms, but he just seems so out of place. From his art style being so disconnected from the show, to the fact that we don't know what he is or where he came from. Also, it doesn't help that the fake commercial for the serial is unintentionally unsettling. When you wake up in the morning feeling slow and depressed, you need a balance break the cereal to bring out your best. You can step into a brand new you. Spring, 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 plastic. Sink into a bowl of sugar milk and plastic. Uh. A toy in every box, frosted with tar and steel. of a complete balanced breakfast. With joyful lyrics of singing about your daily dose of sugar, milk, and plastic, and that the cereal is coated with tar and silicone, all being wrapped up in a VHS aesthetic. It's just safe to say that putting it at number five is justified. Number four. Yes, this moment that I like to use a lot in my AMVs is on this list. It just comes out of nowhere. The horror displayed on Fan's face, the way a shard of test tube shows the reflection of her killer, the shocked gasp of microphone, all these elements come together to create a truly bone-chilling moment that only lasts for a few seconds. Number three. Let's be honest. How many of you assumed this was going to be on the list? Show of hands. Write it in the comments. Go on, I'll wait. Suitcase started off in the series as a fun-loving, innocent, cheerful girl. Then she met Nicole, and everything went downhill. Over time, Nicole's abuse wore her down. She was the only one brave enough to stand up against him. And then, the meeple thing happened. Oh yes, when they went to the meeple headquarters, one of the computers, Meek and Tosh, started drilling into her insecurities deeper and deeper. That's why we hear his voice in her little hallucinations. We can hear Mikintosh's voice repeating what he said to her. Uh. The trail is inevitable. The clock is ticking. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. This is why I put this at the third spot in our list. As the only way this could ever have a solution is if she opened up about her situation, which she has yet to do, but she has tried. 
she has tried. Number two. Goo. She has no aura. Do you remember how you felt when you first saw this scene? Yes. I remember how I felt. In fact, go to any re-upload of the scene and you will get the authentic reactions. I screamed when I watched this episode. If she's the puppet, then who was pulling the strings? Thinking emoji? I showed this to my mom when I first saw this, and she says it was so sad, and at school I was worried about Bao. So it's a robot that's self-aware, and can act like a person, despite its mechanical nature. We've seen this before, haven't we? The Mi Phone series, Robot Bo was made by Cobbs, wasn't she? Maybe Bo is the imposter. Bo is Robot Many Mind Gregory. What? Okay, so some of the comments were clearly jokes. But, I asked my friends how the scene made them feel. And well, here's their responses. Honestly, when I first watched that scene, it scared me, lol. Odd, but inspiring to be honest. That was definitely disturbing. Well, let's just say that they were building up to this moment. Every single time there was a glitchy word, we knew something was wrong. And this moment may have scared everyone, but it is not the darkest. And now for a compilation of honorable mentions. <laughs> The shaking is only the beginning. No, it can't be. Unless <gasps> the red spot. Oh no! The floor is lava! Not to be confused with the game! What do we do? And for the number one darkest moment in inanimate insanity. Please, cops, don't. What? Please, cops, don't. 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 Yeah, I'm breaking out of my scary voice to just say this is dark. Like. Holy, I don't even have a script for this part. This is just... Wow. This is the moment that I felt so bad for me, phone. Like, genuinely. Holy shit. They they knew what they were doing. They they knew. They, they knew this was gonna be scary. Of course, some of you probably guessed that this was the number one scariest moment. Because... Or number one darkest moment. I, you do get what I mean. This is just disturbing and disgusting. That's a dead body that came back to life to just repeat what he said before he died. That is horrifying. Holy shit. Good job, Animation Epic, because oh my god. I, I don't know how to end this now. Happy Halloween, I guess, and let me know if I missed any dark moments because I don't see anything topping this.